Good morning, Space Cadets. If this is your first time listening to the show, welcome. I'm your host, Casey Donovan, and this is The Space, a twice-daily mindfulness podcast that makes mindfulness a fun and easy part of life. Every Thursday, we talk all about you with mindfulness tips to feel like your best self. Does the world feel a little broken to you right now? Are you finding it hard to be hopeful, let alone radically optimistic about anything at all? This is the topic of Emily Eller's new book, Hope is a Verb. In the book, Emily offers a six-step process to reframe how we experience the current global mood. While we can't completely rewrite the way society works, we can change the stories we tell ourselves. If we believe the wrong story, it can keep us stuck, says Emily. But if we believe the right story, it can move us forward. Stories are important because they shape how we see the world. Stories can start conflicts and end them. They can scare us and inspire us. If we want to change our outlook, we need better stories, says Emily. Better stories about the future, about ourselves, and about each other. Sure, that sounds great and all, but how do we practically do that? Well, Emily has a few steps. Step one. Look at the stories you already tell yourself. Consider this question. What story have you been telling yourself about the future? Imagine a scale of emotions. With the negative ones like despair at one end and the positive ones like hope at the other. Where do your feelings sit on that scale? Think of another sliding scale. Exhausted is at one end, and energised is at the other. Where do you sit on this scale? Do you think your story is really serving you? This is not to say that feelings of despair aren't valid. But if that's the only story you tell yourself, you will burn out. It's exhausting. See what we did there? Step two, give your inner narrator a pep talk. Your inner voice is the narrator of your story. What does that narrator sound like? Are they really doing you any justice? Ask your narrator these questions. Could this be a new beginning? What could the future you want look like? How about we list three things that give us hope? What are three positive things I can do to help? The final tip is to rethink the genre of your narrator. Are you narrating your life as a comedy or a tragedy? If you could pick a new genre for your life, what would it be? An adventure? A tragedy? Maybe a romance? A feel-good rom-com. Humans need stories, says Emily. Stories give us meaning, and meaning is what keeps us moving forward. But we don't have to let circumstances write our story for us. Grab your pen and take your perspective back. You've been listening to The Space, with me, your host, Casey Donovan, and our writer, Amy Malloy. We're back tonight with another mood-soothing episode. How to set your non-negotiables and stick to them. Space out.